Honey. They're treating you for hypothermia. Well, that's not that bad, right? Jess. She has a hard time breathing on her own, and they can barely get her pulse. Carla's not gonna die. Everyone dies. If they hurt bad enough. Doing. You're sitting here and you're thinking about what it would be like to lose Carly. But you can't prepare yourself for how it would feel to lose someone you love and it's a waste of time trying. You can't think of all the reasons that Carly has to die. You have to think of the reasons that she has to live. Carly is breathing on her own. Her vitals are still depressed and her body temperature is still dangerously low. Now, raising it is a delicate process. We don't want to give Carly a stroke. Okay, can I see her? Yeah, I'll let you know when she's safe with us. She's a fighter. Thanks for reminding me of that. Oh, I was reminding myself too. Hey, looking for someone. Don't miss the car. Yeah. Well, he was here earlier. I think he's upstairs. They took his sister to a room. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go find him unless you want me to stay no, here. No, no, no. It's okay. Go. Who's giving you problems? No. I told him I was with you when the panic exploded. And we got separated when we were trying to find our way out. Okay, okay, good. And, uh, Randy, did you leave? Really fine. Thank God you didn't listen to me. You know, if you had, you wouldn't have found that woman. Yeah, I guess the chance to save Carly proves that I'm doing the right thing, huh? Should I be jealous? No, you should not. So there were no residual feelings about your unsavory ex? No, that, that is not the point. You could be jealous only if we had an ongoing relationship with each other. Oh, I happen to be very attached to you. This could be the second most inappropriate time that you've chosen to call me. And pick a better time and a better place and we'll call it a date. Ben? Oh, you shouldn't be out here. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Only if you're going to go with me. On one condition, oh. you let me take care of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go again. I mean, how, how can you be fascinated by someone who treats you like dirt? Treated past tense. He started over with the help of his friend Mariana, I think. Oh, how nice for them. Maybe, maybe not. I saw her talking to Trevor Lansing. I think there's a connection there. That would be very bad for Rick. Ugh, warning. It's another mood swing in progress. Is it grounds for malpractice to have a healthy patient's stomach pumped? Tell me you didn't do that. No, but I might. Claudia's still on the eighth floor, and after her stomach being pumped, I'm going to give her a free colonoscopy. You cannot end prejudice by punishing those who are ignorant. No, not everyone, just that intolerant bitch. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You know, I know that I shouldn't let it get to me. Except for the fact that there is a 2% chance, okay? It's only a 2% chance that I could pass on HIV to my baby. And as much as that scares me, it scares me even more that someday my child could be treated the same way that Claudia treated me tonight. Robin has a 98% certainty that our baby won't have HIV. Those are dream numbers. That's, that's better than any surgeon could ever promise. Even me. But if our baby is... If our baby's part of that 2%, they're gonna have you to teach them how to live with HIV. And when some idiot like Claudia comes around and insults them, they're gonna shrug it off because they saw their mom do the same thing. Can I just say you picked a perfect time to be wonderful? Yes, 
again. My son and his mother were almost killed tonight. I want to know who caused the explosion. It wasn't me. Trevor was there at the cannery. Did you know that? No. Somehow he knew about the meeting. Maybe he set the bomb. Which means you almost got your precious little brother killed. I would never hurt my brother. Shut if up. You tell Get out. him or not. Get out. Leave me alone. Hey, who's in charge now, big boy, huh? Hey.